so I'll say again, welcome to everybody to the Folk, Folk DC uh, Music and Languages webinar. Thank you very much for joining us here. And um, I just want to say a thank you to the Department of Education in Nevada, who've been kind enough to donate this, um, this Adobe Connect for our use for the project. This is part of uh, what they're doing to help us. Um, now, the Folk DC project, uh, we're going to have a little look uh, what we're going to do here. We're going to introduce the project and the activities. Um, we're going to look at some of the songs and get you to sing the songs, I hope. And finally, we're going to have a little question and answer session about what we've talked about. So um, I'm Joel Josephson. I'm uh, a partner from the Kindersight Project uh, in the UK. And Teresa, you are? Yes, and uh, my name is Teresa, Teresa de lo Monaco, and uh, I'm in the coordinating uh, institution, uh, the Mosaic Art and Sound. So we're coordinating Folk DC, and uh, I'm in London, uh, although I'm not uh, a, a British person. So wh where are you from? Little. <laughs> Tell us. Sorry. Yes, I'm in. Lo I'm in London. Yes, I'm. I'm in London. No, no, but... I'm in London. No, but where are you from originally? Yeah? Where are you from originally? I'm Italian. I'm Italian. I'm Italian. <laughs> yes, I didn't say that. I thought it was uh, no, quite no, evident. <laughs> I'm Italian, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Teresa, can, can Teresa, you look at the camera, the not at the mic? We, we can hear you. Okay. Yes, Teresa, can you look at the definitely. camera, not at the mic, because you're going off screen. All right. So basically, this is a European yeah. Union funded uh, project under the Comenius program, and it's uh, directed and targeted at young language learners in their first year or two of learning a foreign language. And uh, it, we're using folk songs in 10 European languages, a total of 20 songs. Um, and we've uh, built a set of activities around those songs uh, that we're going to explain a little bit further in depth. Um, now, the reason we've chosen folk songs for this uh, project is because um, they represent European culture. Uh, particularly these sort of folk songs that have lasted through many, many ages. They give us the opportunity to use multiple languages, uh, not just necessarily the target language that children are learning. And we've actually chosen very simple folk songs. I don't know if some of you who were here earlier would have heard the sort of folk songs, folk songs we're using, and songs which we believe are very engaging for children that have repetitive sorry, I can't say that word, repetitive lines and easy to, uh, for children to pick up the words and the sounds. Um, these songs also give us a possibility for a wide range of activities. Again, because they're children's songs, these are engaging to children. Now, I'm going to let T uh, Teresa wants to talk about the autonomous toolkit that we're making and the open resources. So over to you, Teresa. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, the Autonomous Teacher Training Toolkit uh, is uh, one of the main products of our project, of Folk DC project, that we like to share with all of you. And it's about uh, um, the use of the songs to raise uh, language and culture awareness in children. And uh, the use of the song is done through activities, and uh, the main uh, set that we have in, uh, in the teacher um, training toolkit is uh, songs. They are 10, um, 10 languages, so 20 songs in 10 languages. And we have uh, Italian, English, Spanish, Portuguese, Turkish, Czech, Itali Fish Finnish, Swedish, Romanian, and Romani um, from uh, Rome area. So um, at, at first it can be too, um, too much to have uh, 10 languages, but children can play with languages and sounds even better than adults. So uh, we have uh, 10, uh, 10 languages, and then we have the activities, which are culture activities, music activities to enhance music communication and to make children uh, feel comfortable in singing and singing different languages. And, uh, and then language activities, just uh, working on sounds and also graphic symbols. 
So um, after that, we have uh, an ICT training for recording and sharing, which, which is about uh, giving teacher, uh, teachers the opportunity to uh, upload the choirs of their children and uh, the work they do, the performance that they like to do, and uh, share them in, uh, in the project that web properties that Joel will explain later. Then we have the self-evaluation tools because uh, these tools are important to understand to which extent we have uh, reached our goals in uh, uh, raising awareness and joy of languages because uh, all these uh, activities are not to teach languages but to make children aware of the differences, similarities and the beauty and the joy of uh, different languages. Then afterwards, we can have uh, um, sessions, a session with uh, um, question and answers. So, the outcomes um, of uh, of the projects uh, is about, as I said, acquiring awareness, motivation, and interest to learn languages and culture, and hearing and singing less widely used than thought languages. This is a very important aspect because, as we know, children know something about English. Uh, in other countries, of course, not only in, in the UK. They know something about Spanish, they can recognize Spanish, but uh, uh, they have no idea of Finnish, for instance, or uh, Czech. And the experience during the piloting has been great because uh, children are now recognizing uh, Finnish because they have been singing a song in Finnish and a song in Czech, and they're starting recognizing the languages and they like them also. So it's about building awareness and confidence in singing as well, because we have many activities, about 24 activities in, uh, in the toolkit uh, to help teachers to, um, to create a, a relaxed atmosphere in the classroom to be able to sing and to uh, enjoy singing. And of course, finally, for teachers, it's about acquiring also digital and video audio skills because they will know how to use uh, Movie Maker, how to use Audacity, and other tools that may be uh, very interesting for uh, uh, the teaching, um, even uh, behind uh, uh, the, the project, beyond the project. So these are the main, uh, the main outcomes and uh, um, they will be uh, reached in uh, in few sessions of course children need to be um, to be uh, comfortable and uh, happy about the songs and they have to familiarize with the songs first but they do quite quickly actually that's from my side Joel. okay thank you teresa um, one of the things that we've done in this project, apart from obviously making this autonomous toolkit that uh, Teresa so nicely explained just now, is we've actually built a wiki, and I'll just pop the, um, the link to the wiki into the chat right now. Um, here it goes. Yep. And um, the idea of the wiki is to open it up even further than the 10 languages that we're already doing. And in fact, Claude, who's with us this evening, has already been adding some lovely songs in French as well. And obviously we'd love even songs in many of the other languages, not just languages of the project. But what is actually another point, and this is why we brought in this facets about the ICT training with, um, oh yes, Claude and Greek, thank you. Thank you, Claude. And um, it, about the ICT training, and showing people how to use Audacity, which is a freeware to record uh, audio, and how to make and edit movies using Movie Maker, which is a free application. Now, all these are actually on the Folk DC YouTube channel, and I'll just pop that in as well, so you can actually go and find out how to do all these jobs. And the idea is, is that once the children and the teachers have actually used the kit, they can then record the children and put them up onto, a, if it's a video, onto YouTube and then embed it into the wiki. And inside the wiki, we've actually got some how-to videos to show you how you can do that. And then, of course, we'd love to hear comments and the actual lyrics of those songs, the words of the song put in there as well. So this is like a, a resource for uh, folk music 
uh, that are usable in schools across the whole of uh, Europe. Now, the final part of our project is very ambitious indeed. In fact, we're quite worried about whether it's going to work because uh, it, it's quite a job. But we're going to be running a synchronous concert in five different cities in London, in the UK, Sastamala, Finland, Adana, Turkey, Prohova, which is in Romania, and Madrid in Spain. Uh, and we're going to run those concerts at the same time. They're going to be synchronous. And we're going to link them across the internet uh, using most probably something similar to what we're using today. And we're going to have some of the schools that have already been involved in the project to actually sing. They won't sing the songs of their own country, but sing songs from other countries. And those will then be broadcast to all the other concerts. And these are real concerts in real, hall, real halls taking place. And uh, it's going to be a bit of a, what do we call it, a Eurovision song contest for folk music for schools, really. I don't think we're going to vote on it because they'll all be great. So uh, that's how we go. Of course, we're going to invite you to uh, join that concert on through the internet as well. Or if you live in the vicinity, you'd be very happy for you to actually come and watch it as well. So Eurovision for kids. Yeah, but much better than not, uh, uh, Rakesh because they'll actually learn things rather than just learn how to make awful noises. But that's my opinion. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so uh, that's sort of, that's really about um, the project in, in brief. Now, the next part we want to do is actually to get you to sing. Or we could do a little question and answer session first and then do the singing after. It's up to you. Shall, shall we have a little vote on that? Uh, shall we do some questions and answers now? If you want to have them now, say yes now. Shall we do the questions uh, after the singing? So it's yes if you want the questions now. Maybe we'll have some afterwards as well. And then the singing or the other way around. Rakesh, can you not get into philosophy, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what we'll do, we'll, uh, we're not getting any answers here. So um, I think we'll go on to the songs. Yeah? Yes, Reza, that would be great. Yes. Okay. This is uh, an old song. This is an old song that is um, is very um, often sung by children nowadays as well, and it has um, some old words in it. Um, as you can see, John, John, where have you been all night? That's great, easy. John, John, where have you been all night? Down in the valley, kissing Sally, picking up cinders. Cinders, what cinders can be? Anybody knows, Anglo speaking, don't, don't answer please. Anybody knows what uh, uh, cinders are? Um, yes, yes, Claude, great. It's about, yes, 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 excellent. It's about uh, a kind of ashes, a bit before, before becoming ashes. Yeah, that part, that part burns part before, become, um, before becoming ashes. And uh, it's where Cinderella can, comes from. And then windows, breaking windows. Windows uh, is an old way to say, to say, nobody knows windows. It's windows, windows. But let's see, let's see how this um, this song um, is because uh, the melody is very, it's lovely too, and it's very engaging, and it will remain in in the, in, in your mind. John, John, what have you been all night? Down in the valley, kissing Sally, picking up cinders, breaking windows, riding donkeys, shooting monkeys. I'm a boy for kicking up row, row, row. I'll, I'll sing one once more, then we try to sing it together. Maybe you have someone in the room that would like to listen <laughs> to it. <clears throat> so it's, John, John, where have you been all night? Down in the valley, kissing Sally, picking up cinders, breaking windows, riding donkeys, shooting monkeys. I'm a boy for kicking up a row, row, row. So we can try, Teresa? maybe Joel can join, yes? 
Okay, but, but don't forget we've got the recording as well, Teresa. We've got the oh, recording yeah, yes, as well. Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, 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 so, indeed. Indeed. Okay. So, so we can every, play. It. We I can play everybody... the recording. Uh, we can we do play. that now or actually, can I say, Yes, I, I would say that the recording is uh, um, the, the singer is uh, Samuel Lee. Uh, Sam is uh, uh, the the folk singer number one in the UK. He won uh, uh, a competition last year, and he has been uh, um, awarded the first uh, um, the first singer folk singer because he's bringing uh, a new vitality to uh, to the folk music scene in the UK. And he has been doing the piloting with us, and he will be. Uh, the singer at the concert because the synchronous concert will have children singing the songs, four songs in different languages, and also um, national uh, uh, folk singers. Let's listen to some, please. John, John, where have you been all night? Down in the valley, kissing Sally, picking up cinders, breaking windows, riding donkeys, shooting monkeys. I'm a boy for kicking up a row, row, row. John, John, where have you been all night? Down in the valley, kissing Sally, picking up cinders, breaking windows, riding donkeys, shooting monkeys. I'm a boy for kicking up a row, row, row. Isn't it a lovely song? This is an old one. It's very old, actually, and we are trying to use old songs. But um, the partners have also provided for uh, um, uh, new songs also. But um, um, one of the criteria was to include old songs in in our set for uh, for the project. And uh, we have also another another old songs in um, in um, the English uh, songs. But we, we just like to focus on John John and we try to sing it together. Maybe Joel would like to sing together? Yeah? Shall we try? <laughs> <laughs> well, children do it and children do it very, very easily. Um, and they, they, and we have many, many games uh, on these songs uh, and this one as well, of course. For instance, they have to, um, to sing the line, um, but not the last words. So they have to be very careful not to, to sing the last words of each line. So it gets complicated. And then uh, they have to be silent in the last two words and then in the last three words. So they have to, to, remember, to remember in their minds the song. Uh, and it's, it's great when you do it also in different languages. So we try once more this one, and then we go maybe um, exploring a next song, maybe in another language, not English. Are you but ready, Teresa? Teresa, yes? can I suggest that we we all join in, not just me? Yes. Everybody joins in. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody. All right. So for, we'll, we'll we'll use your lead. You're ready. You lead us. Okay. Okay, so um, one, two, three. John, 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 where have you been, all, have night? been all night? Down in the Down valley, valley kissing, kissing Sally, Sally, picking up cinders, breaking windows, riding donkeys, shooting monkeys. monkeys. I'm, I'm a boy for kicking at the row, row, row. <laughs> Great. How was it at your end, guys? <laughs> Did you join in? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. I hope you joined in, especially Rakesh. <laughs> Thank you, Claude. Okay. Mm. Should we try the next song? Thank you, everybody. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Thank you. Thank Sh you. That was we... lovely. Um, D Teresa, shall we play the finished one first? So yes. The... Yes, I would play it first. Shall, shall, yeah, let's play it first, and then we try to sing it. Okay, so I'm I'm putting it on now. Kim kong koi ra metta mende kipi kapi kipi kapi koti otule kipi kapi kipi kapi koti otule. Lempong kisa metta mende si pusa pusi pusa puta kasi tule. Si pusa pusi pusa puta kasi tule.
Limbo ip te metta menne Rupi rapi rupi rapi rojana tulle Rupi rapi rupi rapi rojana tulle <laughs> yes, this is uh, this is a lovely song. I personally I, I love it. It's uh, it's from um, it's from Kalevala metrical chant, uh, and there are lots of uh, onomatopoeic uh, words in it, which is um, a very good approach to a language to use uh, a lot of onomatopoeic words. Um, in fact, uh, children have been very, um, very easy. It has been very easy for them to relate to kipi kapi kipi kapi or to sipu sapu sipu sapu or to rupi rapi rupi rapi. And, and uh, it's about uh, a dog and cat. Uh, and we have a cat that is uh, uh, going to the forest. So we have sipu sapu sipu sapu, which is the cat sipu sapu. Um, uh, going through the, the leaves in the forest. So we can try to sing it. It's, uh, it's very nice and, uh, and it, it's very rewarding singing this song. Shall we try together, all together, a Finnish song? Lempon koira metta menne Kipi kapi kipi kapi kotia tulle Kipi kapi kipi kapi kotia tulle Lempon kissa metta menne, sipu sapu sipu sapu katsi tulle, sipu sapu sipu sapu taksi tulle. Lempo itte metta menne, rupi rapi rupi rapi ruana tulle, rupi rapi rupi rapi ruana tulle. It's lovely the the rhythm of the song, the words are, are very um, are very nice, and and children can sing it easily. I mean, we have done it in uh, in uh, uh, in in a school where nobody, n no children were were uh, speaking Finnish, and they sang it perfectly. And they remember that Kisa is a cat, and Koira is a dog. And uh, when when we played other songs after after this one, and they had to uh, to guess which language was the song, and we played the Finnish one, another one, instantly they said this is Finnish. So that that was uh, uh, quite rewarding for us, and and it's great. It's a, it's a lovely way to uh, to be with uh, with children. Uh, because then afterwards, what we want to do is just to share the beauty of the variety of our European heritage with children, especially during a time when uh, there are um, uh, many globalized <laughs> uh, elements in our culture. So to see differences and to highlight the beauty of these differences is, uh, is a great work to do. And that's what we're doing um, after all. It would be nice if some uh, uh, some Finnish could sing uh, Lempon Koira, but how can we listen to them, Joel? In a way, yeah. Well, I I, I did prepare Karina, uh, but unfortunately she's actually teaching a class at the moment, uh, so we only have Toija, and Toija said very categorically that she doesn't want to sing. So. That's fair enough. Let's not get it. Maybe, <laughs> okay. um, did, did everybody, shall we try singing this all together? I don't know if everybody had a go. Yeah. Did, did, does everybody want to have a go at singing in Finnish? Yes, right. Cloud, Claude, okay, you've spoken for everybody. Okay, let's go. All right. On your let's lead. do it together right. then. Yes. Okay. One, two. Lempon koira metta menne, kipi kapi kipi kapi kotia tule, kipi kapi kipi kapi kotia tule. Lempon kisa metta menne, sipu sapu sipu sapu takasi tule, sipu sapu sipu sapu takasi tule. Lempon ite metta menne. Rupi rapi rupi rapi ruana tulle. Rupi rapi rupi rapi ruana tulle. 
I wasn't very good. <laughs> that was great. That was great. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's a very nice song. Very nice song. Actually, we can't sing all the songs, but we have uh, we have two songs from uh, Romani area that our um, partner from Romania provided, which are excellent, are very, very, very beautiful. There's many beautiful songs in this set, I, I have to say, and this was uh, one of the um, one of the aims of the project, also to provide uh, um, um, nice materials for for children, not just uh, um, commercial commercial one and uh, and and having children uh being attracted by by the sound so they're not learning okay. languages but they're now more aware of them okay teresa shall we um uh move on a little bit um we only prepared two songs for you because we didn't know how well this was going to go of course Maybe we'll have another webinar another time just with singing the songs, um, particularly the Turkish ones, because we didn't use a Turkish song in this uh, in this particular webinar. Um, so uh, yes, questions. So Osim is already asking about the questions. Um, Teresa, when did we finish? 2013, is it? Autumn. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we the, the project. This project is a three-year project. It started in uh, 2010. October 2010, and it will end in September 2013. Now, in the project, we are um, we we have created the um, uh, the autonomous teacher training toolkit, and we are going to um, perfect it because we had the piloting in uh, schools in two schools in uh, five countries. And now the partners are going to meet. We're going to meet in Finland, by the way, in April. And we have to discuss all the findings and how we, um, how, how was the experience of, uh, of the whole set of activities, cultural, linguistic, and music activities, and to perfect it, because there are areas to be perfected, of course, uh, several areas that uh, we need to, to work on. But then, um, in May, it will be ready, and uh, by the end of April, actually, it will be ready, and it, it will be uploaded on, uh, on the website, uh, the, whole, the whole set. And then after that, there's uh, a, a time of uh, uh, a period of uh, um, connecting with the schools uh, across Europe and uh, um, giving them the, the resources and uh, asking them to be part of the project and they can upload the songs sung from, by their own children and uh, it will be nice to have uh, all these uh, songs uh, also new songs they can do uh, also new songs their own songs in other languages not included in uh, in uh, in the project and then afterwards there will be uh, there will be the, the synchronous concert the synchronous concert is quite challenging <laughs> because as joel explained it will be simultaneous in five locations and everything will end by uh, september 2013. okay um Claude asked about uh, copyright. Um, yes. And, uh, 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 and uh, basically, what we're doing here, Claude, is um, all the songs we're choosing are songs that are out of copyright. And we're going to be recording, as you've heard already, we're recording them ourselves. So we will actually own the, uh, the production. So uh, admittedly, YouTube still can jump on people for no particular reason. But we will, in fact, all, all the songs will be out of copyright or owned by ourselves. So there's uh, no problem. And we're putting everything up as Creative Commons, aren't we, uh, Teresa? Yeah? Yes, yeah. yes. We have, um, um, well, the songs we, we're using are, the most of them um, are old songs, uh, yeah. traditional songs. So there's no copyright for the author, and we are not using a commercial recording, so there's no copyright for the recording and for the interpreter. Because uh, we are singing the songs with, um, uh, the, through, through uh, native speakers, but uh, they're not uh, um, requesting any, any rights. Um, okay. So they're, they're completely cleared. 
Okay. Is, is there any other um, any other questions, please? Anything else we can answer for you? It's okay. very interesting what you say, Claude. Actually, it's uh, it's good to share this information because uh, we never know what can happen <laughs> in this copyright jungle. And uh, uh, yes, yes, we we have taken we have taken care of this issue since the start of the project, and hopefully uh, nothing will go wrongly. Uh, we know for sure that we can use uh, we can use uh, John John. Where have you been all night? We can use Lamp on Coira. We can use the most of the song. So that there is that there are two songs which are quite um, not contemporary, really contemporary, but not old enough to be copyright cleared. Uh, but the partner um, have applied for uh, uh, paying the rights, so they're, they're okay for the project. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Uh... What I'd like to do is just sort of uh, finalize, unless there's more questions coming, I don't think so. What I'd like to do is finalize the, uh, the links where you can find all the resources that we produced. And I'm going to pop these into the chat. Uh, the webs, and because there's a few, I'll explain what all the ones are. Um, the first one is the website. And on the website, uh, not yet, but very soon after this meeting in Finland, which is the end of April, we'll be putting up all the resources that you can then use yourselves in, uh, in the classrooms. Uh, the next link is the wiki, which I've already put in once and I'll put in again. Um, and this is where you can share the uh, either um, folk songs that you found in your own languages or other languages that you particularly like. We're very much interested in building a nice, uh, juicy wiki here with lots of different uh, languages and lots of different um, uh, uh, productions here. And of course, if your school actually creates an audio or a video of your children singing uh, some of the songs in the toolkit, then of course, we'd love you to put these up as well with the name of the school. Uh, uh, yeah, o Oslem, you asked uh, Teresa. She's actually working in London. She works in London. Yes, North yes, London. yes, indeed, indeed, okay. indeed. Then um, yes. the other resource I want to put in here is the uh, YouTube uh, channel that we've got. There's already some, uh, uh, the, there's the um, ICT uh, how-to videos on Audacity and Movie Maker already in there and also uh, some other videos from uh, other folk songs from around Europe that we've added in there already, just a few. And finally, the last uh, link is a slightly longer one, is the Folk DC Facebook page, uh, where we just post notes and other areas of interest to the project as well. So those are the major resources uh, and web properties that we're using to link this project together. Okay. Is there uh, any other questions uh, to Teresa or myself? I'll just wait for Adriana. Oh, Ivor is writing, good. Let's wait for those to come in. Ah, it's Teresa writing. Ah, okay. Oh yes, teleprompter, yes, yes. Thank you, Claude. Yes, it's a Comenius project. It's a multilateral project, a Comenius one, indeed. Yep. Um, and uh, schools, children are involved, of course, teachers. Okay. Uh, Adriana asked the contribution of other countries. Um, what we've done is, uh, obviously, any school in any country can take the toolkit that we've got and um, use it themselves in their school and uh, then record themselves and share that on our wiki. Um, just a reminder, on the wiki you'll find there's a how-to page showing you with some videos, screen capture videos, how you can share your audios and videos on, t on, the, um, on, on the wiki. So it's all hopefully there and self-explanatory. So everything can be done all, um, autonomously. Okay. Oh, uh, could you, uh, I think, Adriana, maybe we can talk uh, 
outside of this webinar if you're interested in other possibilities to collaborate. If it's not directly about this, um, I think that that would be the right time to talk. I'll just wait for Oslem. Okay, thank you very much. So, um, thank you. If we, if, yeah, if we're about done here, shall we? Shall we close the webinar, uh, Teresa? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you very much uh, to uh, everybody, and I hope uh, it was interesting and to keep in touch. Definitely. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to stop the recording now, um, and then we'll just say goodbye.